call Limerick Waste. Hold on, this this is the, the wheelie bins, is it? Yeah. Fine, I'm ringing on behalf of the stray dogs of Limerick that don't have a voice because they can't talk. There's uh, a number of... Well, nearly all the stray dogs in Limerick are actually going... Uh, they're dying because they can't eat. And the reason they can't eat is because of, because of wheelie bins. Uh, before the dogs were able to uh, get get into the wheelie bins they, uh, or get into the regular bins, they can't uh, bite through plastic, essentially, and they can't get the food that's in the bins. There's dogs dying. Stray dogs dying. Can you just hold on one moment, please? Are you going to put me onto someone senior? Because I'd like that. Okay, so. Yes, please. Hello, you're Chooch Limerick Waste there, yeah? How are you doing? My name's Darren Ward, and I'm ringing on behalf of... Uh, have you been? Has this been explained to you by the other person? No, not really. Um, I'm ringing on behalf of the stray dogs of Limerick. Stray because dogs of Limerick. Stray dogs, because they haven't got a voice, essentially. And the There's an actual association for that? No, no, no. No, that's not what I mean, no. I'm just saying that the dogs... You know, they, they, there's dogs starving yeah. because of wheelie bins, because they cannot get the food that's in Please. the wheelie bins. I just want to bring this up with you. Now, first of all, as well, you may be wondering, how do I know this? Can I communicate with animals? Now, I actually, I can... Hello? Yes? I can communicate with dogs. Now, it's human ignorance to assume that a dog communicates through either its tail or its balls. But I can tell you right now that a dog will communicate through the oscillations of its cornea in its eye. Now, I, I was in a boating accident about four years ago involving a flare. And it damaged my eye, and, and, and it allowed my, the, my cornea to oscillate, it, or to resonate at the same frequency of a dog's cornea, so that's how I can communicate. A number of dogs have been communicating with me through their corneas, yeah, canine what com co corneal communication. And what I'm proposing is that you fit the stray dogs of Limerick with a metal mouth mechanism, a large pair of metal jaws that will allow them to bite through the plastic of the wheelie bins. I've already talked to uh, Michael Howard again, a councillor uh, for the north side of Limerick, and he's on, on side. So the, it'd be looking like the county council would actually be paying for the... the customers for their bins that have been damaged by the dogs eating them with their own jaws. At the end of the day, we have to look after the animals. Now, I was communicating with a Jack Russell down there by Henry Street good, the other yeah. morning, and right, it's getting good. into a terrible situation. There's dogs with hungry bellies, and yeah. the thing is, the dogs will be vicious with a hungry belly as well. If a dog's got a full belly, he's not going to bite anyone, regardless of a large pair of metal jaws on his mouth. He might be traumatised. He might still yeah. attack if he's hung, even if he's not hungry. No, I don't, I don't agree with that at all. Imagine the damage he'd actually do if... Um, if he's metal oh, jaws in his mouth and he actually attacks them and we're All right, so if you don't like the metal jaws, how about a small trap door at the, at the bottom of, of, of the wheelie bin where the, the dog can get his head through? If we're not talking about destroying a wheelie bin. Who'll, who'll, who'll invest the money in that now? Michael the, I told you the Limerick County Council have already agreed that this, this, uh, that they're on site. The, the, I'm not requesting... I've, I've actually rang at all the wheelie bin companies in Limerick about this. Uh... Mr. Bainman's on board. He's very sympathetic to the plight of the stray dog. And all I'm asking is for you... Are you a manager, are you? I'm not, no. I'm just senior to the girl you were speaking to a while ago. Well, I, I, I'd like you, first of all, to, to put this call forward to your seniors uh, just to let them know this this is what's happening in Limerick. The stray dogs are dying and it's it's your fault, essentially. Our fault. Our fault. It's your fault. If a dog can't eat... You're, you're, I mean, it, it, it's a stray dog. No one's giving them food. They have to scavenge... So how are they supposed to scavenge if you're not going to... If, 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 if the Scavenge, you mean, yeah? Scavenge. Look scavenge. it up in the dictionary. No, it's not. S-C-A-V-A-N-G-E, like Angie. Yeah, scavenge. 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 Is that scavengers or scavengers? Scavenge. If, if the, listen to me. If the dogs... It's, it doesn't matter about how it's pronounced. If a dog wants to scavenge or scavenge, essentially it's not going to solve the problem, all right? Right. Whether we talk about this. Right. It's only semantics. Right. Scavenging dogs, scavenging dogs. Even eating carrion, you can call it carrion, is another word for what they're eating. Um, do you think, are, are you on board? Are, are you on board? Even a trapdoor at the bottom of the bin where a dog can eat. I've I'll pass on to my boss, yeah. Do you, do you have actually plans drawn up in Everton for this, have you? Well, I've got two actual uh, designs. There's the, there's the standard metal mouth mechanism and then there's the... I can them notes in case anyone else has the idea. No, it's copyrighted ice. Right, for a second right. one, for a, for an older dog, if they mightn't have the jaw power, I've but got a battery operated one. Staffordshire Bull Terriers, they're there good enough already. This might show been as there. There's no stray Staffordshire's in Limerick. I know that for a fact. I've been communicating with a number of them. They've got full bellies and owners, all right? right. There's no need for them to scavenge. Scavenge? <laughs> right, yeah.
So you will be telling your seniors about the points I've brought up today, and <laughs> Councillor Michael Horrigan will be anti. No bothers at all. Thank you very much. Thank What's you your name again? Darren World. Darren World. Yeah. And you have a telephone number there, Darren? I don't actually have a telephone number. I'm communicating kind of... Well, tr- t- telepathically, really. I can get into phone systems, you know what I mean? Can like, you really? I actually, to be honest, I'm not even a physical entity. I, b- I exist more as electricity. Oh, right, I don't yeah. even I don't even bear a physical body. Very good, Do you yeah. have a look at them electrical pylons and the buzzing sound it makes? Yeah. That, that's my uncle. Excellent. All right, so bye. Bye.